Hi all, welcome back. Today we are going to see a huge case, a very common huge case that let's consider a scenario that there are 10 records as of now and I am the admin and the requirement is that the admin should be able to see all the data okay all the records they will be able to see and there is some other persona okay this is the staff and staff should be able to see only that ticket which is assigned to them okay a very common scenario in all the applications right so how can we achieve this huge case okay basically what we are trying to say here is there are 10 rows of data let's say like these are the 10 different rows of data available in my database if I am a part of the admin group then I should be able to see all the 10 data but if I am part of the staff group I will be only able to see that row only which is assigned to myself the null data should not be shown at all so that is this and this is nothing but a rule level kind of security so how in Appian we can configure rule level security so in order to configure the rule level security you have to go to that particular record on which these tickets are created so these tickets are created on the IHMS ticket so this application is actually nothing but the IT help desk management application okay and in this one we are going to add a rule level security so what we will do here is that now in order to add the security into this one even if you see the interface in the interface I have not applied any filters by myself okay not a single filter has been applied just uh, I am referring here a bank record data and record type is this one here so there is nothing needed I will control the security directly from the record only so how I will configure the security let's see that first of all you have to go to the record level security okay here here you will find the definitions as well like if you are part of the viewer you can see all the records and if you have configured any security then they can see only that particular record only means that particular row of data only here you have to click on new security rule so see here uh, either you can configure new security like this one or you can configure a security expression as well first of all let's see that security rule and how it can benefit us so it is saying that who is part of this rule so there is uh, in my application there are two groups there admin and the staffs so I will write here IHMS admin which tickets they can view so it is divided if you see here it is divided into two parts first of all it is asking like who is the user on which you want to apply the security and then which data they will be able to see so I want that if you are part of administrator you should be able to see all the data let's just try to create it once and save our changes once I have saved the changes let's go and see that in record how it is behaving let me just refresh it here and here you will be able to see I'm able to see all the data now the I will go into the staff record and let me refresh it here like whether staffs are able to see all the data or not here you can see they are not able to see any data at all why because no security expression has been configured for them only the users who are part of the admin they can see all the tickets we have to create another rule for our staffs as well let's see like can we even create it okay so users found in this group so users found in this group let's say like IHMS staff I have written so users found in the staffs group which ticket can they can view they obviously they cannot view all the tickets only tickets where where what if you have select a field assignee assignee is text here but here if you see uh, it is not allowing us to add any users or groups at all so here even if it adds a constant I don't think like with the help of constant uh, we will be able to use it okay it is not showing any constant name at all fine so that group constant is not allowing here so moreover like we won't be able to use this Th then see there is another field also for the help here there is users found in fields but the problem is that if you click on that drop down there will no field available why why because if you see our data model in the data model what we have done the assignee is text field it is not a group or user field so that field won't get populated in the record level security when we have assign it assign field as text then we won't be able to apply security with the help of this window but not a problem we can still go and configure a security expression as well 
if your data model is having user or fields user user fields then without any code you can directly go and configure the security expression for each uh, group of data but let's say like you don't have that much uh, convenience in your data model so we can still configure it with the help of our ex expression how to write the expression let's see that if so what i want here is i want here if function so if user is part of admin group so is user member of group and here you have to write the username username is going to be the logged in user okay and the groups so the group i have already created constant for that group so you have to give that particular constant admin group so if user is part of admin group then i don't want to apply any filter at all no filter is required here and if if otherwise i will apply a filter you just have to write here query filter you don't have to write query record type record data no it is all you are already inside a record so these things are not required directly you can refer the fields here so the query filter is field is going to be ihms ticket dot assignee so this is the assignee here and operator is going to be equal to and the value is what the value is going to be the logged in user that's it so here what condition i have written is if you are part of the admin group then no filter will be applied but if you are part other than that whatever the ticket assigned to you that only will be shown as of now this is only our use case we don't have any other use case we don't have any other persona based on different persona we can create our other expressions as well so what we will do here now let's go to the admin and let's see that this was our admin and this is the admin and you can see still i'm able to see all the 10 records now i will go to the staff this is my staff one and now let me just refresh it here so it should only show that data only where uh, the staff is the assignee so see here seven data we are now able to see where uh, all the assignee are staff one only if i remove anything from the backend table as well it will get removed here and the advantage is that we don't have to configure anything in the ui here so in ui you can just directly refer the record data as well otherwise if you configure the security here then only here will it will be valid but if record level security is configured wherever this record type is referred either in the groups or in the charts as well they won't be able to see all the data at all so this was the uh, this was like how you will configure the record level security in your application i hope it was clear that's all for now thank you